Hello again everyone. How are you all doing? I'm hoping that you all are having a wonderful time. So thank you for tuning into today's podcast. So on Wednesday, the British monarchy was hit by a double health scam with Kate in hospital for two weeks after abdominal surgery and Charles was said to be set to undergo treatment for enlarged prostate. But I guess what baffled me was the timing of these two announcements. They were made with a time difference of like less than two hours. I think that raises concern because you're like, is this to prevent causing an alarm? Or are these people just in competition for sympathy? Despite the fact that I wish them both well, there's still a lot of questions in my head. So it was announced that Princess of Wales is in hospital for two weeks after abdominal surgery and King Charles is set to undergo treatment for an enlarged prostate. It was said that King Charles will go to hospital next week for the corrective procedure adding that a King Charles condition was benign but that all upcoming public engagements would be postponed. And for Kate, she's said to be still in the hospital and she will be there for the next two weeks or so. Then she will have a lengthy recovery. One commentator correctly pointed out that something was missing from Kensington Palace's statement on the matter, an assertion that Kate would make a full recovery. They're actually telegraphing the fact that this is incredibly serious, which does beg the question, why aren't they disclosing more information? This cat's illness has been so mysterious. Meanwhile, there's been some chatter in the British media about how they, that is the media, were blindsided by the news. The mail pointed out that Kate has not been seen since Christmas Day, that is 23rd, now 24 days ago. And I think it's quite normal for Kate to be not seen working post Christmas. In fact, she can go a full month or even longer without being seen or doing any events this time of the year. Interestingly, the Mail also had an article about how William has only, uh, has only been seen once post Christmas. He did an event last week, his first and only event of 2024. Now they're saying that William will miss a slew of appearances in February, including the BAFTAs. And the excuse, he's going to be taking care of Kate. So the mail wrote this saying that Prince William will likely miss the BAFTAs among other engagements to stay by his wife's side as she recovers from abdominal surgery. The Princess of Wales is being treated in hospital after undergoing a successful abdominal operation Kensington Palace revealed today. I don't know why, but I just don't believe these words. I don't believe that William is just staying behind so that he can take care of Kate. Maybe you can say take care of the kids, but not take care of Kate. I believe that someone who can take care of Kate is maybe his mother or the servants or people who just work at the palace, but, but it won't be Prince William. They continued. Kate was admitted to the London Clinic in Marylebone yesterday for the planned procedure and is expected to remain in hospital for 10 to 14 days and then recover at home in Windsor. The Prince of Wales will stay by his wife's and children's side throughout and will only and will not undertake official duties while his wife is in hospital and during the immediate period following her return home. They continue, he therefore postponed a number of engagements, including the BAFTAs on 18th, 18th of February, the Six Nations, which kicks off in two weeks, and various charity events. William, who is patron of Welsh rugby team, will likely miss any Six Nations game next month. France and Ireland will kick off this year's Six Nations Championship on February 2nd for a game at the Orange Velodrome in Marseille. 
That weekend we'll also see games from England versus Italy in Rome and Wales versus Scotland in Cardiff which the prince and princess of Wales are not expected to attend. They even say that William was also due to undertake investitures through January and February which he will now miss. Do you notice the way that the mail has outlined what William was supposed to do uh, this January and also in February? But honestly, I don't think William was either going to attend these events. Maybe he was going to attend one or two, but not all these uh, all these events that the mail has outlined for us. They're trying to make it look as though William is so hardworking and he's so sorry that he will not be able to attend all these events. Last year we had Prince William missing out on a lot of events, events which he was supposed to attend such as the Women's Final World Cup final in Australia. William did not attend that but then he was very quick to make an appearance when Prince Harry was making appearances such as when Prince Harry attended the Better Up event. Prince William appeared miraculously out of nowhere yet he said that he was on holiday. So honestly I don't think that William was going to attend these events. We know him as a very lazy royal. He doesn't like to work. So I just think these people are trying to garner a lot of sympathy. They're trying to make people sympathize with them amid the ongoing dramas and all the scandals within the royal family. Not to be mean, but ever since Prince William assumed, assumed the presidency of the BAFTAs in 2010, he's skipped the ceremony seven times usually for no particular reason other than I didn't feel like it. And now that he actually has a legitimate reason, his wife's poor health, it's like the boy who cried wolf. He will be sad to miss the rug rugby games, although it would have been iffy for him to travel to France anyway, especially given his reticence to do his job as Football Association president and attend the Women's World Cup final last year when England made the final. And I don't think it bothers these people anyway that Prince William won't be attending these events because he doesn't usually go anyway. They are used to Prince William not attending these events. And also talking about the cat situation, there's this video of a convoy of cars leaving her residence the night of December 28 that no one addressed. Whatever this is, didn't start with a planned abdominal surgery yesterday. I think something else is going on. I don't know why Kensington Palace is hiding this information so much. If Charles was willing to tell us about his benign prostate condition, then I don't know why they are hiding this cat's condition a lot. Well, let me know what you think concerning this. Do you think uh, this is just a competition for sympathy from Charles and Kate? Or do you think there's reason to cause an alarm for uh, their health conditions? Do you think they were trying to prevent causing an alarm by releasing uh, both statements almost at the same time? Let me know what you think and I will see you all on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing time. Goodbye.